Welcome back to GCN Racing and after a day of rest it's time to resume with stage 10 of La Vuelta. On Sunday, Tadej Pogacar took an incredible solo stage victory over the mountains of Andorra at just 20 years of age. Whilst behind him, the best of the rest was Naira Quintana and he'd separated himself far enough from his rivals to take the race lead. However, both Lopez and Rogic had crashed off camera on a gravel sector, which had a large bearing on the stage and the new GC. Today it was the race of truth, an individual title of 36 kilometres in France, finishing in Po. It was on a rolling parkour and apparently the longest individual title of any World Tour race this year. So a decent chance, some very significant time gaps amongst the key riders within the race. The early pace on the day was set by the Frenchman Remy Cavagna of De Kerning Quickstep. The 24-year-old finished fifth at his national time trial championships this year, but today he was flying around the course, catching many of the riders who set out just in front of him. By the time he got to the second time check, he was over a minute clear of the next best rider, and by the finish, that gap was even larger. He crossed the line 1 minute and 39 seconds ahead of Groupama FDJ's Benjamin Thomas. Another man particularly motivated today was the New Zealand national champion in this discipline, Paddy Bevin of the CCC squad. He too was passing riders left, right and centre and Cavagna was sitting rather nervously in the hot seat at the finish line. And for good reason really, because it was close, very close in fact. Bevin was one second behind at the first check, two seconds in front at the second and in the end they both rode the final part of the course at exactly the same speed. Bevin coming across the line with a two second advantage over the Frenchman, outing him from the hot seat. And after that, there weren't really many riders setting off that would be capable of going any better. Except this man. Primoz Roglic is the real deal when it comes to time trialling, but his primary aim today would be to take time out of his rivals in the GC. He started the day in second place on GC, six seconds behind the red jersey, Nairo Quintana. And this was not a stage that Quintana was relishing. He's not noted for his ability against the clock, and this for him would be all about limiting his losses as best he could which was going to be a tough task given the way that Roglic was riding in front of him. He was already 19 seconds up on the next best rider at the first intermediate check. Miguel Ango Lopez is also not a specialist in time trials. He headed out on the course two minutes in front of Roglic, but with 16 k's to go, his time was being compared to Quintana and he was 16 seconds to the good. Tadej Pogacar is a brilliant climber, as we all saw on Sunday, but he's also a pretty blooming fast time trialist too. He went through the first time check in first place, only later beaten by Roglic, but he did fade ever so slightly. He'd lose over a minute to Bevin in the second part of the course, crossing the line with a provisional 10th place, one minute and four seconds down on the New Zealander. He would, however, do better than Alejandro Valverde, who came through next. His time would be one minute and 13 seconds behind Bevin's, good enough for a provisional 12th place on the stage. The next man to come towards the finish line was Miguel Angel Lopez of Astana, or at least he was until he was caught and passed by Roglic. Now we all knew Roglic was going to take time out of his rivals today, but I don't think we could have predicted by how much. He took a whopping 25 seconds out of Bevin by the line and a lot more on the GC men. Two minutes exactly on Lopez in fact, which meant that there was only one man left out on the road, Naira Quintana. And it wasn't good. He'd lose over three minutes on the stage to Roglic, taking 27th position on the day. Don't worry though, this should set up some huge attacks in the mountains that are still to come. Smiles all around then for Primoz Roglic and his family. A job well done for him today. There are your stage results. 25 seconds of the gap between Roglic with Bevin in second. Great ride from Cavagna to take third. Lawson Craddock of EF Education first in fourth. And so we have yet another leader of the welter. Primoz Roglic is in red and by quite some margin. 1 minute and 52 seconds in front of Valverde. Lopez now in third at 2 minutes 11. And he was the sixth new leader of the race in the space of six stages. Apparently that's the first time that's ever happened at a Grand Tour. That's according to the very well respected cycling statistician and all round geek Killian Kelly. Tomorrow it's a hilly but not mountainous 180 kilometres which start from saint Palais in France before crossing the border and finishing in Erdax back in Spain. Three categorised climbs and for me this one has breakaway written all over it and therefore my prediction is Thomas to get. Safe bet I reckon. See you tomorrow. <laughs>